Hi, how's everybody today? I am so excited. I was out busy doing actual life things and Etsy went ahead and dropped the um, trends report for spring summer. So we've got to talk about it. Uh, let me just get this uh, stream set up on the website and we'll be ready to go. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, so I'm really psyched to get digging into this. Um, there's going to be stuff that that will tell us what I love about these trend reports and why I like to really dig into them is because Etsy is basically telling us what they're going to be promoting for the next um, few months anyway through the big through spring, beginning of summer, uh, and they kind of map it all out and show us, hey, this is what you need to focus on because this is what we're going to be putting out there. And it's so, so great to have these tips coming directly from Etsy to um, put us in a direction. So especially if you're looking for like inspiration or ideas or just feel like if drawing a blank on your shop, like you just don't have inspiration or a direction to go in a lot of the times just going through what Etsy's promoting and talking about and saying our trends um, can kind of help steer your direction for the next few months if you are struggling with that of course if you have a roadmap already built and you know all what you want to do and put out there this will just kind of help you maybe if you're interested in doing something a little spin off of something you already make or a limited edition of something you already make then you can use these insights to make some decisions like if you like oh, I want to do something in a different color but I'm not sure what color to do I'm sure Etsy's going to tell us what color they're going to be pushing um, so that could help you decide now where do you find this I got an email and I can see that I think every seller so your seller email address it's sent to your email and I got it a few hours ago so check your email if you want to follow along with me uh, and also in the shop dashboard you will see in the shop checklist just below that where it says recommended for you they have new a fresh marketplace insights report and that'll take you right to it so here I am and it's in the seller handbook um, so let's just dive into it. I, if you guys are in the chat or anyone's watching, please feel free to chime in. I'd love to know what you think and you know what your takeaway is from this. Leave a comment. Um, I always like to see other people's opinions and thoughts on this stuff. So, okay, let's do, let's get into it. Dive into a fresh new season with our latest insights, including key opportunities, bestsellers, and search data across categories. And I'm sure this is a long one. I didn't look. Yeah, it's, this is going to be a long one, so buckle in. Spring is finally here in many parts of the world. With typical seasonal activities and plans interrupted at this, this time last year, people are now even more determined to savor every sunny second. And while there's still so much that feels uncertain, there's hope to be found in the season's biggest trends with their whimsical designs, cheerful colors, and mood-boosting spirit. Spring is all about renewal, and today's shopper are more than ready to embrace that, says Etsy trend expert Dana Ison Johnson. So we're back with a fresh batch of trends and insights based on searches and purchases on Etsy, as well as industry research to spark your new ideas. So they do a combination of data that is collected from Etsy with industry trends. So I think that's a really great way to accurately depict. It's not just what someone said is a trend. It's based on actual data in, co in combination with what people are doing in e-commerce, online, stores, fashion, all this stuff. Okay. So first is how to use this report. And we talked about this. And I think they make some great points here, so I'm going to read it out. If you're seeing, like, why do I care about this? I have my own artistic niche, and I just do what pleases me. I don't need to look at trends and follow trends. Well, 
you might find something useful in this that goes beyond what you make for products. So let's see what they say. How to use this report. The insights here can inspire shop updates, both big and small. Optimize your shop for the season by one, getting ideas for new products, updating your photos on style trend with on-trend styling, refreshing your shop banner with seasonal details, including seasonally relevant top search terms in your tags, titles, and description, timing your inventory to take advantage of upticks in relevant searches and in advance of key occasions, and choosing which listings to promote through Etsy ads. Okay, I'm interested in how they're gonna talk about Etsy ads, because if you watch my video from a few days ago, I might have been last week, you gotta go back on my channel a little bit where you'll see Etsy ads in the title, and we I dissected the article from Etsy engineering blog and was not happy. It's quite a rant, actually. I'm quite pleased with that opinion I put out there. So if you're, I really want to see how they incorporate Etsy ads into the conversation here. And another thing that I'm seeing that's kind of interesting is including seasonally relevant top search terms in your tags, titles, and descriptions. So why do we need to put relevant top search terms in our descriptions? Hmm. Now, from all common knowledge out there, Etsy search doesn't crawl descriptions, from what I understand. I don't know that for a fact, just from what I hear. Um, are they talking about this for Google shopping? Because Google crawls descriptions. Um, are they going to be changing Etsy search to crawl descriptions? I, I like to read between the lines and in this stuff. You know, why are they telling us this now? I mean, is this something they've told us all along? i got to look into this. Okay, seasons at a glance. The next several months are full of opportunities to reach shoppers with fresh ideas for spring, great gifts for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and graduations, items for Independence Day celebrations in the United States, and everyday upgrades. Learn about trends for each of these specific occasions in our recent gifting and personalization trends on Etsy. And I did a video on that when that came out, and that's about a month ago now that's been out. Another really good one. Um, coming, out in, coming out of a difficult winter, shoppers in the northern hemisphere are more than ready to make the most of longer, brighter days and really relish the summer. And regardless of climate, everyone's looking for something fresh. All right. And I think they're talking, they're changing a lot of the language in their posts here because I think they see Australia as a really growing market. And obviously everything is always so Northern Hemisphere based because so many of the world's people uh, live in the Northern Hemisphere, but they're kind of trying to be inclusive in their language. It's good. Feeling inspired yet? with more than 61 million new and reactivated shoppers joining Etsy in 2020. They have more, pro you have more potential customers than ever. For more buyer insights, read our recent roundup, Etsy Shopper Stats, March 2021. Okay, cross category trends. So this is gonna be all encompassing generalized trends that you can apply to almost any niche or product or whatever. These key themes will guide shoppers and Etsy's seasonal buyer marketing. So this is the stuff they're going to be promoting, they're going to be talking about, they're going to be looking for, for their recommendations, all this stuff. So you want to really pay attention to what they talk about here. Spring refresh. Shoppers are reviving their homes, closets, and updates. Natural delights. It's gardening season and carts are filling up with items for spending time outdoors and bringing natural elements in. Sustainability is a growing priority during Earth Month, April, and beyond. Social spring and summer. While nothing's certain, we believe shoppers may be hoping to safely spend more time together in the coming months and preparing for outdoor gatherings in anticipation. I know this, a friend of mine has already made the most um, crazy plans for for uh, June, a party in June that she's putting on. I mean, obviously very low key and small, but I thought it was just fascinating that she was uh, 
already making these plans by everyone else. Okay, Wonderlust. Limitations on travel are leading people toward escapist aesthetics like cottage core and regency core. Okay, that's a new one. Similarly, shoppers are scratching their itch to see the world with travel themed items to inspire future trips or treasure past ones. Watch for a bump in local staycations and domestic adventures. Grateful gifting. We anticipate a spirit of thanks being topped top of mind as people recognize all they have and celebrate the special people in their lives with extra thoughtful gifts. Sunny shades and cheerful patterns. Shoppers are welcoming brighter days with a new palette of citrus hues and ocean blues that complement Etsy's 2021 color of the year sky blue. Retro prints like daisies and playful abstract shapes call to mind summer daydreams. So that gives you ideas. If you have colors or patterns that you're trying to come up with for products, these are some great ideas. Their color palette of citrus hues and sky blue in particular, Etsy is looking to push. And then um, floral retro abstract prints. Category in insights. The year-over-year -year increase below were calculated by comparing search volume from January through mid-March 2021 to the same period of 2020. And I think this is probably a good time to um, judge the insights on from January to mid-March because that time in um, last year, in 2020, was pre-pandemic. I mean, and I remember at the beginning of March, I had just gotten back from a trip and people were kind of rumbling about things while I was on the trip right at the beginning of March. And then when I got back, it was basically like, don't leave your house. So that's when the huge spike of shopping on Etsy and for all the masks and everything that really skewed the data. So it's not going to be the same. So I think this January through mid-March will be fairly accurate as far as data. Home and living. Shoppers are eager to refresh their living spaces they've spent so much time in over the last year. They're making updates with new seasonal decor and further optimizing their homes for the many functions they now serve. The home spa. With the right accessories, even the tiniest bathroom can be a serious sanctuary. Offer buyers a sense of escape with indulgences made for slowing down and transforming chore-like routines into soothing rituals. We're seeing a rise in searches for incense holders, bath caddies, waffle towels, bath robes, aromatherapy oils, burners, and diffusers. Explore using neutral shades, energizing jewel tones, and natural elements like greenery, including faux, for a calming effect. Spa kits and sets also make increasingly popular everyday and Mother's Day gifts. So they're giving you exactly the items and what color they are that people are shopping for and buying, okay? So if you make these kind of bathroom products or spa products or um, let's see, hygiene products, I guess, um, read, look at this and take it in because they, they're giving some very specific things of what people are looking for. And you can see the 6,428% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for eucalyptus shower bundles. And this is something I had never heard of in my life. And now I see it everywhere. And it seems like a really cool idea. And it might become one of those things that just everyone has in their shower. So if you don't know what this is and you sell this kinds of bathroom related products, you might want to look into something with your own spin on it. You know, not exactly what everyone's doing, but um, finding your own spin. And then 991% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for faux olive trees. Okay, checkered print, which I'm really surprised by. Uh, I would not have seen checkered print coming out of nowhere, but it's, I can see how it's kind of joyful and fun. Uh, collective curiosity about the game of chess. Oh, okay, so yeah, when you think of chess and the Queen's Gambit was such a popular show. Okay, um, may have helped inspire a newfound passion for checkerboard patterns. There's something so playful and satisfying, organi satisfyingly organized about these nostalgic rows of squares. We've recently seen an uptick in search volume for checkered print rugs, 
pillows, poofs, blankets, quilts, and bedding explore bright and unexpected colors and tap into the print's picnic potential to hook up some summer, <laughs> summer shoppers, excuse me, or put a wavy twist on a classic checks for a surrealist spin and 143% year over year increased in searches on Etsy for checkered prints. And obviously that's not the huge year over year increase we saw in the previous one with the eucalyptus bundle thing, but I think they see this as a growing one, um, kind of new, and it's gonna be growing into spring and summer. So if you do any of these home um, accent pieces, you know, and you have some checker way of incorporating checkerboard into it, um, go for it. If it's really not your lane, I would stay away from it because it is so such a distinctive graphic pattern that if it doesn't fit in with your brand, it could, you know, take it away. But I see the potential of this as being very like home, homey vibe, like um, rustic primitive vibe with the, the checkerboard, like this middle vase. And then also very modern and abstract when you distort the checkers. So it could play off of a lot of design styles. Uh, mushroom motifs. Call them cute as a button, but they're making a serious splash. Mushrooms are inspiring some of the biggest home decor trends from lamps to tabletop statements like salt and pepper shakers. This fascination with fungi supports the larger Carter cottage core aesthetic with its roots in nature and fairy tale forests. Their slightly cartoonish shape also makes them a great fit for child's, children's products. Now what I always read into whenever I'm reading these trend reports from Etsy, if I hear a word repeated over and over again, I know this is something that's going to be not just a trend, but something that's going to be pushed in the future and talked about and a more longer lasting trend. And they've, this is the second time they mentioned cottage core, which is kind of like, if you've never heard of that, it, it seems like it's kind of fringe, but that's what the young kids are into these days. And there's so many directions to take this aesthetic. So if you don't know what it is, just do some Googling and you will see that you can probably open up a market for a lot of your products if you just add cottage core into the title or tag. Um, just to put that out there and this whole mushroom aesthetic thing is it's really cute really fairy tale um nine a uh, 758 year over year increase in searches on etsy for mushroom pillows and pillowcases and 359 percent year over year increase in searches on etsy for mushroom lamps waves and squiggles Undeniably playful and pop art inspired, these fun shapes are making their way across home decor. In vases, wall art, mirrors, and trays, we're also seeing curvy and zigzag candles appear alongside a trend we previously reported, candles with structural shapes. So 28,858% year over year increase in searches for, on Etsy for wavy candles and 5,258% year over year increase in searches for Etsy uh, for wavy mirrors. So this was not existent a year ago, this uh, trend. It just came out of the quarantine and people wanting interesting but minimalist style decor and the whole blob look and waves and curves and you know who knows what that comes from but I think this is a hot trend and worth latching onto if you make any of these items that you can incorporate this design style and of course makes sense for your shop of course um, modular living okay flexibility is key in today's furnishings as people increasingly value the ability to move and rearrange pieces to fit different functions consider the wider craze of around play clout play couches that children can climb on and easily reconfigure or the popularity of statement seating meant for 70s style lounging. So 744% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for play couches. Okay, so they have some examples of that here. So if you're doing furniture, you might wanna look into some of these modular options. Freeform shapes and play. We're seeing sellers come up with imaginative ways for kids to let loose and entertain themselves like outdoor mud kitchens where making a mess is encouraged. Imperfection is also being celebrated in furniture and home decor embracing more organic shapes. 
379% year-over-year increase in searches for Etsy on for mud kitchens and 220% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for abstract shapes. So these hand-drawn abstract shapes are very much on trend, much like we saw in the candles and mirrors they were talking about earlier. And, um, you know, embracing play for kids outdoors anything that you can come up with if the if you do a kid's store that involves outdoor play i think would be a great um, product to embrace this summer especially because it's gonna kids are gonna be outside they've been inside too long seasonal standbys well not necessarily not necessarily new these perennial trends maybe even bigger hits shoppers seek to update their spaces inside and out and reunite with nature this spring and summer. So these are seasonal trends that are hit every year um, that you want to just, okay, so are they breaking it down for us? Yes, they're gonna break these down for us. So gardening galore, the outdoor and garden subcategory is picking up as buyers eager to get their hands dirty hard to the windowsill. 205% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for indoor, gar indoor garden or herb planters. Outdoor oasis, people are making the most of coveted outdoor spaces, ranging from petite patios, fire escapes, and front stoops to spacious backyards. Offer items to help them savor the fresh air and sunshine, and even potentially entertain guests al fresco or welcome bird life. Key items include pallet furniture, garden loungers, benches, and fire pits. 163% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for outdoor lighting and 247% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for a bird feeder. Okay, and this is in the heart of winter, so people are thinking ahead for their summer plans already. Um, tools for staying busy. Keeping kids entertained is still top of mind, especially as parents approach summer break. Offer up toys and games, puzzles, play structures, and climbing gyms. Adults are also looking for fun and revisiting classic games like chess, chess and mahjong. 439% uh, increase in searches on Etsy for chess. DIY home updates. More time at home, a home buying boom, and res res being in high demand could motivate shoppers to pick up the hammer and upgrade their spaces themselves. Best sellers, wall decor, light fixtures, shelving, wallpaper, hardware, sliding barn doors, those are still in, okay, uh, bathroom vanities, unique curtain rods, mantles, reclaimed wood pieces, and table legs. Spring sprucing, to function well, the home hub requires top-notch organizational systems. I'm so sorry, I'm stuttering so much. The way Etsy writes, it's very, a lot of alliteration. I seem to stutter when they get into it. Um, okay, think creative storage solutions and tools like shelving, bins, baskets, mask hooks, entryway organizers, and family command centers. 69% increase in searches on Etsy for entry hooks. Find more home and living category insights and trends here and keep reading to discover vintage home decor trends in the next section. So this link takes us to something in the handbook about... Um, Home and living trends. Okay, vintage. Interest in vintage fashion and home decor continues to climb along with nostalgia for pre pandemic past. Sustainability minded shoppers are also increasingly purchasing pre owned items to cut back on their carbon footprint. Totally travertine. Make room for marble. Travertine is the new it material wooing shoppers with sleek vintage vibes, says Dana. There's something oh so 70s about the stone which lends itself to lots of decor th styles thanks to its light neutral shade. 361% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for travertine tables. So if you make anything that um, can be made from the stone, then you can think about it like even these coasters, you know, people like to incorporate this, these trends in small ways and coasters is a great way to do that. Okay, room dividers. Open plan layouts are, are, oh, open plan layouts are out. Okay. These days, shoppers are looking to designate areas of their multifunctional living spaces for specific purposes and creating zones with the help of handy screens. 
curvy vintage styles play into a larger trend towards organic shapes. This is like out of left field. I would never have predicted this trend as far as open plan living is being, um, is out now. I, I never really was fond of it, that trend, but interesting. Okay, 157% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for room dividers. I think maybe it's just because people are all trapped at home and it's like, well, I want to watch this show, but I want to be in the kitchen studying and it's just one giant room and no one can have any peace. Okay, Romantic Regency Corps. I want to know more about this. We could all use a little forma formality after a year of lounging about. Give shoppers a reason to dress up again with Regency area era inspired tea sets and empire waist frocks featuring ruffles, pearl beading, and lace. So that's really interesting. And I can kind of hear of casual, um, just being like excessively casual. Um, would You would always see when there's a huge trend where it's just everybody does something, there's always like that counter opposite that just kind of swings in. And I think getting ahead of that would be smart, you know, if you can do anything more formal and offer a more formal way of doing things or looking or presenting it might have an appeal just because everything is just so casual. Everything's linen and everything flows in the breeze, you know. Maybe something a little more structured, a little more formal, a little more sitting up straight and our shoulders back, you know. Interesting. Okay, vintage glassware. Buyers are increasingly flocking to Etsy for retro drinking vessels in a range of colors and shapes. Popular shades include green, pink, and amber, while searches for crystal, etched, and gold rim pieces are picking up. 286% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for vintage colored glassware. And I think it's interesting to talk about these vintage trends because if you are someone who shop sources vintage items and sells them on Etsy, look for, but this is also stuff for th those who hand make things. Like if you make drinkware, you might want to do a vintage inspired line of drinkware that they're talking about as being popular. Um, retro cheer. Appeal to shoppers yearning to travel with kitschy vacation style prints featuring tropical flowers and famously dreamy destinations like the French Riviera. 47% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for vintage fabrics and 77% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for retro fabrics. Okay. Seasonal staples. These go to spring and summer styles are heating up. Okay, summer shades, vintage sunglasses are a summertime fave, and searches for aviator, oval, round, and 70s frames are rising like the temperature. 104% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for vintage oversized sunglasses. And I feel like that oversized sunglasses trend was huge, like 15 years ago, like mid-2000s. Um, so maybe that's coming back up. Uh, Throwback bags offer functional styles like crossbody and bucket bags, waist pouches, and beachy carryalls made of rope and straw. 75% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for macrame bags. Uh, dearest denim, a core casual look. Jeans are making a return among shoppers starting to feel sloppy and sweats. Offer the true originals inspiring many of today's popular denim fits like mom jeans, high-rise, bell-bottom, and overall styles. 498 year over year increase in searches on Etsy for vintage low rise jeans. Oh my God, that makes me feel so horrible. I mean, I remember in the 90s when it was like all you could buy was low rise jeans. It was a nightmare. What a nightmare. I really hope those don't come back in. 113% uh, year over year increase in searches on Etsy for vintage denim overalls. And I'm talking about late 90s, early 90s, you could, and you could still find the a normal wasted jean but at oh my god what a that was just so awful so uncomfortable okay spring sweaters who says sweater weather is over show buyers how to ease between seasons with light loosey knit tops in cotton fabrics and designs that feature fresh details like floral embroidery uh, 410 percent year over year increase in searches on etsy for embroidered vintage sweaters oh that's such a cute trend i love that vintage tees and hoodies Nothing's as comfy as much-loved tea or cozy cotton pull poly pullover. Shoppers are after perfectly broken-in casual wear, including sweatshirts. 320% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for vintage hoodie. Okay, clothing. 
help shoppers expand their worlds and their wardrobes after a year of above the keyboard dressing, elevate the comfort they've grown accustomed to with stylish takes on work from home loungewear and tap into the desire for travel and new experience with playful patterns and bold colors. Sunny sets. Matching tops and bottoms are both comfy and cute. Offer them in cheerful prints, bold hues, and safer, seasonless solids. As Dana suggests, last year's focus on monochrome outfits could continue. Whether opting for a sweat set or cozy jumpsuit, a head-to-toe tonal ensemble is an effortless way to look put together, she says. An 86% year-over-year increase in searches for, on Etsy for matching sets. And I do see this as a trend, too. It's like the match. Matching is kind of in. Okay, relaxed silhouettes. Shoppers are upgrading their everyday uniforms, trading sweats for easy layers that can be worn at home or out and about. Help them achieve casual chic with, with oversized fits, shirting stripes, white cottons, linens, and sleepwear-inspired satin. Ease is key. It's like blazers and dress shirts. Lean into those loose shapes for dresses as well, adding interest with volume through still trending ruffles and puffy sleeves. I'm going to just take a sip of water here. Okay, and a 23% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for loose dresses. Better basics. Quality, versatile, core pieces lay the foundation for any wardrobe. Shoppers are updating seasonal staples like tees and trenches, while men in particular are seeking out smart-looking tees and hoodies to be worn while working out or working from home. Offer trending boxy shapes, coordinated sets, and statement pockets, or explore personalized or custom detailing. When building your inventory, consider stocking gender-neutral styles. 40% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for boxy tees. Okay, well, I have a question for Etsy, and maybe someone out there knows the answer. can leave a comment or something. Um, they say stocking gender-neutral styles. Now, they have the women's, they have the men's, and then they have the unisex category. So, I just, if you put something in unisex, is it going to appear in men's and women's? Is it going to appear in all those places? Then that makes sense to make unisex clothing. But I don't know. When I'm shopping for clothes as a woman, I I go to the women's category. And if I'm looking for something like maybe looser and bigger fitting, I go into the men's category. I don't go to the unisex category. But that might be because I'm older. Maybe the younger people do do shop in the unisex category. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, fashion fantasies. Escapist dressing is having a moment as it offers a temporarily temporarily transport people from reality. Decadent details like ruffles offer Regency-inspired romance, while hand-embroidered flowers create a cottagecore aesthetic. And I think this has to do with the hit show on Netflix, Bridgerton. So that would be a good show to watch to get that inspire the what they're talking about here. Um, so 2,164% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for Regency gowns. Optimistic outfits. Clothing is bringing people joy with bold patterns and playful pops of color. Work with nostalgic prints like stripes, retro, and painterly florals, and sea-like motifs in energizing hues. 54% year-over-year increase in Etsy uh, for striped shirts. Okay, linen love. Shoppers, are, shoppers already come to Etsy for high-quality linen garments, and this year the fabric's appeal is even stronger as people look to lighten up after long winters and appear relaxed yet refined. Offers linen pants, skirts, dresses, jumpsuits, and sets. Peekaboo details. With, a, it, with its fresh summertime vibes and picnic-ready preppiness, open-work fabrics are having a moment. S explore eyelet and large scale lace patterns on plain white cotton. Must have motifs. Kids wear is getting a fresh look inspired by nature in 90s, 2000s style. Try incorporating these images in your designs mushrooms, berries, sunflowers, butterflies, cartoon clouds, smiley faces, frogs, pets, gardening items, and plants. 50% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for sunflowers. Okay, for kids' clothes. All right, now we're into jewelry and accessories, which I think is a huge one for most people. Want to tune in for this? Um, this season, buyers are getting 
creative with expressive jewelry choices and accessories are playing a pivotal role in keeping their comfort first wardrobes in style. Shoppers are looking for ways to take their work from home wear to the next level by adding accessories like detachable collars and statement making headbands, says Dana. Fresh face masks. This everyday item gets an update with new floral prints, retro patterns, and bold colors perfect for lifting spirits. So obviously there's going to be, there's an increase, right? They're comparing the face masks to just the three months prior um, because they can't really compare it to last year at this time because it didn't, it didn't exist as a market. But they say 45,598 searches of floral face masks in the last three months. So that's um, a trend in the face mask world. And you can take that face mask and make it a matching outfit. Uh, people are looking for that kind of thing because um, they mentioned that matching trend up there. Uh, so face masks are still a thing. If, you're, if you have tapered off making face masks, you might want to think about adding a couple new styles uh, to this because even though in the rural areas the masking isn't as... I mean, you still see it in the grocery stores and stuff, but you know, out on the streets it's not as common. But then once you go into the cities or urban areas or maybe suburban areas, it's a lot more part of your constant everyday life and movements. So I think a majority of people still live in those areas and are dealing with that. And um, it will continue. I don't see it letting up. So, um, all right, hyper-personalized pieces. These extra special accessories are made for gifting. Consider how you can take personalization up a notch by incorporating a buyer's photos, fingerprints, handwriting, or even heartbeat into necklaces, rings, and leather keychains, and discover more in the gifting and personalization trends, which I discussed in a previous video. 54% um, year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for fingerprint rings. Um, so the personalization stuff, and that's hyper-personalization. Well. Etsy makes it like Etsy is all about personalization. It's like the number one goal of everyone who shops on Etsy to get something personalized. And yet they make it so hard for us to sell personalized items. Like going back and through, back and forth with Etsy chat is just such a freaking nightmare to get stuff from customers. And I, ugh, I just wish there was a way that they would incorporate a freaking upload button on the product page. So when you need a picture from somebody, you can just have them upload it right there when they buy the product. Or if you need something that is uh, handwriting, they can take a picture of it and upload it right there. You know, oh my God, just do it already. Um, okay, beaded beauties. Keep an eye on the beaded necklace that is as a key accessory this summer, especially in beachy neutrals and crafty multicolor -stra multi strands. Incorporate pearls and shells, or work beads into other accessories like bags or feminine embroidery details or open work designs. 43% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for bead necklaces. Larger than life. Shoppers are making bold statements with oversized jewelry. For earrings, focus on supersized studs, drop style designs, decorative hoops, and sculptural shapes. Within necklaces and bracelets, chunky chains are still a top trend. Update with fresh materials like raffia and resin, square links, translucent finishes, and padlock charms. Exaggerated cocktail rings, rings are also growing in popularity. 72% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for big rings. So I definitely see this oversized statement pieces as a big trend going on. Okay, layering. Con buyers continue to mix and match necklaces of different styles and lengths, now with more variety. Popular pendants sport protective symbols and natural elements like shells, wood, or foliage cast in metal, while shorter pieces incorporate pearls and beads, styled by pairing collar and waist grazing length. 42% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for pendant necklaces. Open work bags. Loose open knits have an airy, textural look. Consider lining bags with bright colors or patterns for a little extra pop. This look can be achieved with knitting, crochet, knotting, and macrame techniques. 81% year-over-year search, increase in searches on Etsy for crochet bags. Woven textures. 
Look to your loom to create subtle summer stripes, as seen in belts, ponchos, and bags. Incorporate scrap materials for a varied handmade effect. 61% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for hand-woven items. And that would be a really cool trend to see come back, the woven fabric. Shoe boom. It's time for shoppers to trade in their snow boots and slippers for summery sneakers and sandals. Square toes and toe straps continue to trend alongside playful feminine takes on the sport sandal. Try embellishments like beading and embroidery or color block straps. 31% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for sandals and 41% year-over-year increase in, in searches for on Etsy for personalized sneaker. And as if you've been paying attention to just in general the news lately, the personalized sneaker is a huge trend that's going on. And with it being a major news story, it might really blow up in the next few weeks. Weddings. While many large wedding plans are still on hold, couples are finding ways to make even the smallest celebrations extra sweet. As shorter guest lists result in more budget and attention spent on small special details. And that is a really great point to bring up because guest lists are going to be smaller they are they gonna have whatever budget they had for their wedding maybe go a little bit further and they'll be looking to really up up the game in some of these details let's see what they say micromonies there's so much to savor about intimate celebrations small scale unions and elopements offer couples freedom to go all out with the custom pieces which would be less feasible for a larger guest list. Offer extra special personalized touches like hand calligraphy on paper items such as vow books, programs, menus, signs, and place cards. And when I think of this, I think of their wedding favors. You know, they're going to be upgrading wedding favors. That's going to be one of the first things I think people are going to really invest in as a in their wedding if they have extra budget is they're going to be those people who do come in you know a greater way with probably um very high-end luxury type wedding favors i would think um outdoor weddings all outside weddings are here to stay for a while says dana couples are gravitating towards backyards and no venue nuptials at places like waterfalls beaches and in the woods let these natural, more spontaneous settings inspire your designs. And there's a po huge point with outdoor weddings that um, I want to bring up because if it's going to be outdoor, outdoor, if the people don't have tents or anything, or if they do, I mean, it does rain. So if you can come up with a product that is for rain weddings or a chance of rain wedding or something like that, I think that would be a really a great kind of wedding niche to get into um, because most places it was like, well, if it rains, you can go inside, but um, if it's not an option, like it might be in a lot of places, you know, uh, staying in a, under a tent, even when it's raining, it's kind of miserable. So you need to have ways to uplift it, you know? Um, all right. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Ignore it if you want. It's fine. Uh, statement displays, even small can be splashy, help couples go bold with neon signs, lush floral, floral backdrops, and photo-worthy displays that make a big impact in person or on screens. For virtual events, well-designed favors and treats help hosts tie things together with a visual theme. Okay, safety first. Yep, I'm here masks again. Items like wedding masks, hand sanitizing stations, and signage politely reminding guests about social distancing measures remain event essentials. So really great point. If you make wedding signs, you want to have all these signs. Um, and then I would think too with the masks, because I mean, you know, I think bride and groom and bridesmaids and those stuff, they have their own little masks, but then they buy, the guests all get masks. Like they buy masks for the guests, but not necessarily selling those masks. I mean, I'm sure there's definitely a market for that, but um, a place to have the masks hanging and that's being your table seating. I think that would be kind of a cool idea. I'm not gonna do it, so feel free to take that idea. 
home as venue. Many couples are exchanging vows at home privately or in front of an intimate or larger virtual audience when photographing your wedding items show decor styled in a domestic setting. Yeah, that's a good point. Not really showing it in, in this ballroom type style. Um, DIY details. As people downsize their plans, they're looking to rely less on vendors and more on themselves with handy projects they can tackle alone or together. And worth the wait merchandise. This timely phrase is appearing on wedding inventory and appealing to buyers who have to delay ha, who've had to delay their big day. And people have delayed big time. Um, they, I work with some wedding clients who have who booked a year and a half ahead of their wedding. So they were planning a year and a half and then they postponed another year because of COVID. Okay, this is reality. This is a lot of people. So yeah, anything that you can use to make a play on that long wait. Okay, craft supplies and tools. With spring in the air, fresh craft supply needs are cropping up. People have energy for tackling new hands-on hobbies or to become masters in the ones they took up last year, Dana says. Kids, crafts, and gardening are among the seasonal's, season's top trends. So homemade clothing, um, I see this as a big trend too with the whole cottage core element to it. Social, social media sharing and time spent at home has fueled a clothes making movement. Offer patterns or kits incorporating used fabrics and include clear instructions or even web tutorials suited for beginners. I think that's a great idea. Sustainable crafts. Mending continues to be approached as a practical money saver and an art form. Think shashiko embroidery kits. While shoppers are increasingly looking for projects that incorporate existing materials like upcycled, upcycled fabric scraps, including dedum, for weaving or quilting, in Germany we're seeing a bump in terrazzo making kits. There you go. That might be a trend that might go global, so worth looking into. 134% year-over-year increase on Etsy, on Etsy for mending kits. Uh, children's ceramics. Family-friendly pottery kits are emerging as a fun activity to do home with kids. Look for air drying and modeling clays in bright colors for easy to tackle, easy to clean up projects. 140% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for ceramic kits. Summer craft camps. With the close of the school year approaching, parents are likely looking for activities to keep their kids busy and to give them a fun break from their classroom routine. Consider classic camp crafts like friendship bracelet making, simple woodworking, and popsicle stick projects. 306% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for summer crafts. And I think that's a really great idea. I mean, because you think of who are parents right now and they're going to be nostalgic to their summer camp and now their kid can't go or they have to stay home. You know, any of these kits that you, the parents can do with the kids and have that nostalgia be a winner. Unconventional crafts. Think outside the traditional craft box to reach new shoppers with homesteading activities. Offer home improvement and woodworking sh items, shelving, tools, supplies, plans, hardware, and food crafts, food crafts like edible mushroom growing kits, hot sauce making, and cocktail bitter sets. 60% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for food crafts. That's an interesting one. Um, Self soothing standbys. Embroidery, needlepoint, crochet, knitting, and watercolors aren't going anywhere. Update for the season with fresh floral patterns and kits for creating lighter knit or crochet pieces out of cotton. 66% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for crochet pattern. Mask making supplies. Expect mask makers to create fresh designs sporting new patterns for the season. Some stock summery prints with a vintage flair like daisies, butterflies, or sunflowers. 115% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for spring fabric. So yeah, you will be seeing jumps in all kinds of fabric every time seasonal when you have new people make who are home making things at home from learning all these crafts in 2020. They're going to be looking for fresh and new and trending and seasonal supplies. 
horticultural havens. We're seeing, an in seeing interest in the floral and garden supplies subcategory grow in recent weeks as shoppers cooped up all winter yearn to soak up the sun or attend to indoor gardens. So best sellers are vegetable seeds, plant cuttings, and propagation supplies. Green gifting, pint-sized plants, and hardy succulents perfect for desk decor are emerging as popular springtime gifts. To help shoppers create indoor gardens with a cute factor, offer supplies like vases and vials and on a miniature scale. 77% uh, year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for succulent planters. Succulents still growing, still a growing market. It's incredible. That has been a huge trend for so long. Um, foraging fun, increasingly popular mushroom growing kits and dried flower arrangements conjure cottage core style. For dried flowers, offer popular pampas grass, wheat, daisies, allium, and hare's tail. Buyers are also investing in cut flower crafts featuring showstopper feature blooms like the Queen Protea. 182% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for dried flowers. I'd love to know because I'm very curious about dried flowers, how to sh how they ship. I would love to know from someone who sells those, how you package it. I think that would be a masterclass. Um, next generation plants for something fresh. Look for these um, next generation plants for something fresh. Look to these buzzy plant species to take root in sunlit living rooms and on Instagram feeds, potato plants and prayer plants. 219% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for prayer plant. Full on faux. Dried and faux flower enthusiasts are seeking out stems in a bright and unnatural hues. Painted and dyed florals take arrangements into the fantasy realm. 179% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for neon flowers. And I, I think I see this as like a trend that's going to combine is this pop art style with the cottage core and how those kind of come together and marry because I think that it will be these neon statement organic prints with a romantic feel of being in a cottage okay <laughs> that was really insightful huh okay layered look Buyers are after an abundant greenhouse vibe and mixing and matching different plants to achieve it. Style your photos with lushness in mind, showing how certain types of plants like pothos and ivy varieties are ripe for trailing shelves, walls, and windows. 214% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for ivy plants. Okay, still going here. We got paper and party supplies. From good old greeting cards to birthday party back drops paper goods are key go-to's in a season full of notable moments and this year we're working double duty to help shoppers connect to loved ones and spread much needed joy cards for every occasion including just because Reg milestones including birthdays and anniversaries in addition to the obvious occasions like mother's day father's day and graduations other popular themes across cards include spring wishes missing you and sympathy sentiments 71% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for funny cards. So I think cards, even though they're, it's a very saturated market, I think actually physical cards that people write and send a thing is going to be a trend. I see that um, in the near future. Say anything stickers. Ranging from silly to serious, stickers are growing in popularity among shoppers looking to decorate their planners and school supplies, promote their business, and organize their pantries. Popular sticker searches include logo sticker, sticker pack, vinyl sticker, pantry label, and cute sticker. 92% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for custom sticker. Birthday bonanzas. In the absence of big parties, parents may still be looking for ways to make children's birthdays special. Balloon arches, pom-pom garlands, lawn signs, and festive virtual backgrounds help elevate the day. 68% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for birthday banners. Fun with fonts. Here, how you, how you say it is half the fun. Play with freedom, lyrical letters, and imperfect curvy script. Look for a more structured look. Try creating text out of little dots. Or go retro with 70s inspired balloon like bubble shapes. 69% year, year, year over year increase in searches on Etsy for retro card. 
All right, playful patterns. Color fading effects. Prisms and crystals inspire ombre designs that blend brights and pastels. Considered kaleidoscope, marbled, and color layering. Okay, interesting. I really still think that the tie-dye look is still what people want. I don't know. I, I, I like the marbling effect, but I think that's kind of out. Um, patchwork prints. Source, inspire, ins source inspiration from textiles with collage quilted patterns, experimenting with adding textural interest via hand stitch details. 95% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for patchwork. Storybook settings, taking cues from cottage core, pastoral pigs, lambs, and chickens appear as graphics alongside berries, fruits, ginghams, and dainty floral embroideries. 71% year over year increase in searches on Etsy for gingham. And that goes in with the check, check pattern trend, I'm sure. Uh, nature's bounty, gravitate towards greenery with southwestern plant illustrations and gardening motifs like watering cans, vegetables, and fruit. 272% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for cacti. Messy shapes, go bold with abstract shapes, graphics inspired by children's drawings. Think finger painting art, blobs, and blurry edge, blurred edges. 197% year-over-year increase in searches on Etsy for abstract shapes. Okay, and we made it to the end of the article. I can hardly believe it. This was a, packed with information. And it says, take the survey. Was this report useful? Help us improve future reporting by sharing your feedback. And I recommend everybody, after listening to this video, um, going and taking that survey on the page so that you can give your feedback on what they're talking about in this article because they um, they will make improvements to what kind of information they provide you know they're they've taken out a lot of the flowery language that they've put in other trend reports and kind of just gave us like what are people looking for what's trending what's happening and what are the stats behind it like there's actual data here to justify what they're talking about and it's not a lot of just like flowery language it this was really good so I recommend you know listening to this video again you know you don't have to look at it but you can listen to it put some headphones on while you're working get some ideas or go back to this article and read it for yourself look at the other parts that maybe are more specific to what you do and um, you know report back to me put something in the comments let me know what you got out of this the marketplace insights and what you're going to take out of it and apply to your shop i'd love to know i got some ideas it's definitely pop art graphic abstract um and cottage core regency those are the big takeaways for me anything that i can incorporate that kind of stuff with and of course the obvious spring greenery anything that's like screaming spring gardening and that end of things those are my big takeaways so i want to know what you guys heard what you taking away from all of this and um, let me know in the comments can't wait to read what you have to say thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you tomorrow